Yeah. Surely. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> That's why I say I'm going to, usually I start, I end with it, so that I'm going to start with it today. Yes, yes. That's, I, 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 no doubt about it. You more lele. That's it. You know, so we we hopefully, you know, we, we're gonna have a good time tonight. Hopefully, we're gonna enjoy dropping the knowledge in us. Oh, it's always a pleasure. You already know. When when we're in the house, that's it. That's it. It's over. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, All right. Yeah. So, uh, good night, everyone. Uh, we officially started three minutes after the hour. So, uh, sure, sure. So, sister is definitely with us tonight. We're so happy to have her. You know, as we know. We have missed her last week due to, you know, circumstances. And, you know, like she just said, it's, uh, it's still on time because whatever is going to happen was not meant to happen. All right? So that's right. The that's type, right. The type of mentality, the type of uh, ways we adapt, and that this is the truth and nothing, uh, you know, no better than this. You know what I'm saying? That's it. So what it is, uh, we say welcome to Sister Hato Hakunaten. I know I, I made a mistake in the spelling. I say ha, ha but it's akunaten. <laughs> yes, a ku, not a ten. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. You know, so we no have doubt. To get those right because those are heavy names. You can oh, you got that right. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> so hopefully we all enjoy the, 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 the show tonight. Hopefully, you know, I mean, uh, we make the sister so welcome so that she may come back to us anytime and, uh, and continue and, uh, to enlighten us. So, uh, yeah, without a doubt. Yes, that's the thing. So uh, with that, we just, let's allow you guys to hear the song to start with and uh, allow more people to come on so that we may start to uh, with, uh, Tonight, uh, the sister. Uh, so uh, we are about to start, and uh, hopefully everyone comes on time so that we don't miss anything, so that we don't have to repeat. Uh, yeah. All right. So this is the time we've been hoping for to hear it said from the mouth of the queen. <laughs> no. Excuse the sound as well because this is a very old song, uh, also very heavy. But you know <laughs> we couldn't find it in uh, you know HD sound or so. So oh. you, know, you, you guys uh, enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> you know, I think I think we're jamming. I think we're jamming nonetheless. I think we're, we're doing all right. Nonetheless, <laughs> we're jamming anyway. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> 
Okay, <laughs> welcome again. Welcome. That was a song specifically for for the Queen Sister Haken Hakenaten uh, Sister Hator Akuna Aten. Yes, there I you go, right, there you right, go. Right, <laughs> right on time, right on time. Right on time. <laughs> so this is the sister, guys, I've been talking to you about. You know, I came across her on, on, on YouTube. And since after that, I was very pleased by the type of knowledge that she was dropping because we, specifically of, of Haitian descent, you know, I mean, we are, I, I, when I come on this side, I used to hear people talking about uh, uh, Haitian. Whenever they mention Haitian, they mention voodoo. That that mm-hmm. somehow gave us some some power over anyone else because they used to fear the Haitian men so mm-hmm. much so that I ha- that I had a friend who used to walk around with a red a red uh, handkerchief or or, or red uh, <laughs> you know <laughs> little towel in the back pocket just to tell them yo any anybody mess with me I just shove this in your face and that's it you my zombie this that's it. <laughs> They, they just have this this idea of, of voodoo, like you know, it's all it's all about uh, hurting people. It's all about uh, doing wrong Correct. and this and that. So that's why mm. I was like, okay, you know what? Since we are, you know, the the children of of of, of 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 the system, so we have to make sure we we talk about it, we enlighten people so that they may understand what it is uh, exactly, not just what they hear, because as Correct. we know historically, uh, the European. What they did after they went to Haiti and, and they learned from the system, they tried to demonize it, which they, they do with most of, of, of African uh, spiritual systems. So what it is that they used to talk about, uh, uh, you know, the, the voodoo doll, like you see, I see the sister mentioned to the, on her page, on her Facebook page, they, 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 they attach the voodoo doll like it's something evil that it can just make on your name and then hurting you and things like this. So what it is is everything, everything. Even the, there's a documentary on YouTube talking about like uh, raising zombies out of the dead. Although these things may may be you know may be done, but this is not all of it. This is not what it's about. You know what I mean? Just Correct. like anything else, just like even a gun. You know what I mean? It's not really the gun to blame. It is the the, the holder of the gun. You That's know right. What I mean? The it's intention. Just like, the intention behind it, you know, and you understand. So just because, you know, some brothers, you know, I, I invited, who felt very negative, like somehow negated uh, from the system, although he's also of Asian descent. So he was like, you know, people used to hurt his family using this, this type of thing. So I told them it's just like love, basically. Some, some sisters out there, you know, they had a boyfriend or a husband who hurt them very deeply. And because of that, they, they close their heart to love, and, you know, which is a mistake because you cannot really close your heart to, to love because love is a very positive and very strong frequency that, you know, that, that, that is very good to, 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 to have or something to, to, to feel. So what you do is just that you, you raise yourself to understand or, 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 or to, to pick and point who you want to be with, who you want to share your heart with instead of closing completely your heart to, 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 to the frequency of love. You know what I mean? So it, it, how we deal with things, may, you know what I mean? We have to deal with things in a way that we're not going to just um, shut it out completely, you understand, but rather to understand, you know, the lesson in, in, in what life throws at us and then take, take what it is and then uh, uh, grow with it. You understand? So hopefully, you know I mean? Uh, we all learn something tonight. And whatever of uh, misunderstanding or misguided uh, thoughts we had of, of the system might be clear tonight with the sisters. Uh, with that said, I welcome again the sister uh, Hato Akunaten. So welcome again, sister. You, 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 yes, you, yes, yes. We've been waiting for you so long. So feel free, <laughs> take, feel, 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 feel free to take the mic, sister, and then just start uh, dropping it on us. No, All right, let me let me let me drop let me drop a couple of bars on you. Let me drop a couple of bars <laughs> on you real quick. <laughs> let me drop a cipher real quick. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Well, I just want to say welcome, and um, we're gonna just give a quick shout out and thank all the ancestors. Today being Sunday, as we start off this glorious, prosperous week for all of you, I have everybody in my meditations that um, we may understand each other, connect with each other on a higher level because this is what it's all about. Um, right now we're in a moment in the age of Aquarius, okay? The age of Aquarius pretty much signifies the age of knowing. 
No more guessing, no more thinking from what the next man or the next woman is saying. It's all about going out there and doing the research for yourself, doing the soul searching within, because there is a God with inside that is trying to actually activate itself and come online in this day and age. And it's our responsibility. It's time that we take accountability in order to do such. So seek and you shall find, you know, as above, so below. Let our soul and our spirit grow. So with that being said, uh, the first beautiful thing I'd like to talk about is, okay, voodoo. Once people hear the word, we shake in our boots, we get all crazy. You know, we think about our um, church-going folks who try to tell us that it's the devil and it's the, you know, somebody's going to come out to get you, somebody's trying to kill you, somebody's trying to do you harm. Uh, once again, going back off what the brother said, which was so true, everything is about the intent and what you put into it. What you put in into life, period, is what you get out. So the same applies for the force and the energy, because you have to understand, we are dealing with a force, an energy that has been there. Since the beginning of creation, what we want to call now modern day what they call voodoo, but if you really want to transcend the name, what it really means is traditional science. We are dealing with a traditional science. Let me break that down. Traditional science just means as far back as we can remember, as long as it has been nature, and creation and existence, so has been voodoo. Because let us understand, traditional science is the connection between nature and us, okay, us the spirit, us the soul. It's the connection that we build within the earth, which is one plane, the cosmic realms, which is other planes, the divine cosmic realms, the higher ups. Now, some people have God as a name, Allah, Jehovah, you know what I'm saying, Ra, Amun, Ra. It could come as different formats of whatever you feel. But at the end of the day, what you really are looking to seek out is to build a connection to a higher source, okay? What we must understand is that with voodoo, voodoo comes in different levels with different sources, i.e., the natural elements meaning dealing in the sources of nature. Like I said before, we have elements, okay? For example, in dealing with voodoo, you have, for example, I'll give you the petrol loi. Petrol is fire, okay? Those are fiery spirits, which is an element. So therefore, if we're going to be dealing with an element, that just pretty much means, in simply put, that whenever you need something hot, spicy, something in a defense, something for courage to build, to build fire, passion within you, you're going to be dealing with the fire spirit. You're going to be dealing with that thing that's going to get you where you need to go to give you the courage, the strength, the bravery to move forward, okay? All right? We go into the water elements, when we're dealing with water elements, what does that make you feel? Now, water can be, the beautiful thing about water, water can be fierce, and then water can be calm, okay? And just as the um, simbi, which are, that deal with the water, etc., it's the same principle. You have some of them that you'll call upon that will be very calm. They'll just give you certain information that you may need, vice versa. And then you have then th those of them that are great sorcerers and deal with the deeper magic when you have deeper issues that you need to really go down under, get into the nitty-gritty of it in order for them to bring forth to you. But once again, everything that we deal with within the world right now in our everyday life is built on intention, okay? If I as a person go out into the world, and I put my best foot forward. And what I mean by that, we're not perfect, but it's in the chaos that we can seek perfection, if that makes sense. It's in the chaos mm -hmm. we, we source out our perfection, meaning we may not have the, all the answers. We're not meant to have all the answers. What we're meant to do, though, is to respect our brother, respect Respect our sister. Give them the unconditional love, whether they were telling you they were Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Hebrew, Israelite, it does not matter. The fact that you know that is another human being that you're sharing space on this planet Earth, this Mother Earth with, you have to give that a source of respect. And it's through that respect that we learn okay, how to discipline ourselves, how to humble ourselves, really, in order to deal with the spiritual realm. Because you have to understand, a lot of people, okay, and I'm not just talking about here in America and Haiti, all over the world, when we're talking about spiritual um, you know, uh, rites of passage or dealing with the law, dealing with the law, what ends up happening is a lot of people, 
especially lately, okay, uh, as far as back as, as we can remember, after the revolution being won, et cetera, us using it for a divine power and a unification reason and to free ourselves from that oppression, you have to understand, most people now have been using this thing for stupid things, okay? And what I mean by stupid things, yes, it's stupid to say that just because somebody got on your nerves for the day, you're going to go and seek out to kill the person. Or because of jealousy of what another human being has, oh, they just got a house, they just got a car, oh, that doesn't sit right with you. Now because you know and you have a privilege to understand or know the this kind of uh, – uh, knowledge, you're going to go and use that knowledge, pervert the knowledge in order to make it something that it's not supposed to be. Let us remember, this knowledge was for healing, clairvoyance, protection, none else. Hey, this was what the sciences of voodoo, the traditional science we speak of, speak of was meant for, okay? All else is what we call... Um, getting into materialism and physical needs and wants of today. Now, don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with having your ancestry help and guide you if you need things as in prosperity, you'd like to see if you could get a new job, or you'd like to have a little bit of more income flow in your life, these things. But understand, they are going to meet you halfway. You in the accountability and the responsibility of being a soul being for yourself have to do your part, okay? We are in a time right now where as we connect with, connect with them, we have to take accountability for what we're doing. We have to be mindful of what we're asking for, the intent we're putting behind it, who are we hurting, who are we benefiting, people that have family, that have children, that have these kind of things. Be careful of what you wish for. Be careful of the intent that you put in because what you put in, not only the energy and to go blame the forces that be, the law, the law. No, no, no. The accountability that you take. So if something takes a wrong turn, that's your fault. That's not their fault. The, the person that you went to to go and get the work done only was paid for a service that you asked for. They didn't come to you. You came to them. So, therefore, be careful what it is and how you tread your, 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 through your journey because everything has laws of karma. We will always be dealing with the yin and the yang, okay? There is a time and a place for everything, time and a place for everything in this world in the way that we walk through our journey every day. The first thing that people need to be concerned with is reconciliation. What I mean by that? Right now, we are in a period of time that our ancestry is very, very upset with us. Why, you ask? Because we have been neglecting them, abusing them, and then giving them a bad name. I'll give you an example. Do you know how many people who run off every Sunday, they're up in the church, all up in Brooklyn, all up all over the world. I'm talking about my Haitian people specifically, okay? <laughs> They all up in the church, all up praising hallelujah, bon yeah, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> and then the next moment, the next minute you turn around, as soon as there is a problem, or as soon as somebody died in the family, or as soon as something went bad, they know. Mm. Meaning they're going over to the spiritualist, the spiritual advisor, the ugam, the mambu, to go and get certain things taken care of. Okay? Now, fine. No problem. But as soon as something does not go their way or the laws of nature work either for or against the case or the situation, they are the first persons running out there to give voodoo and voodooism a bad name, giving the mumbo, giving the, the, the ugin a bad name. They are giving it a bad name because their own selfish intent, their own egotistical ways of doing things, their own perversion, okay, that they came in with, meaning they didn't even come with a clean heart. The only thing they cared about was their ego in solving what they thought needed to be solved in their life. So therefore, Really, when we look at that, who is it to blame? Are we blaming them, or is it time we start taking accountability and blame ourselves for being egotistical, okay, people, for being people who do not rationalize, okay, who do not deal within our heart chakras first before we run out and give our ancestry a bad name? Am I right or wrong? 
Yes, definitely. Okay. So basically moving along into what I'm saying is that in the basis of dealing with voodooism, okay, we are at a standing right now where we must be dealing with mass reconciliation. Okay, what I mean by that is before you jump up, it's the same way with God, for example, whatever a person believes in, born, yeah, God, Allah, Jehovah, like I said, whatever you'd like to call them, the, the divine nine. source. Yeah, the whole nine, right? <laughs> before you run out to that and you say, well, God, I need this, I need that, I want this, I want that. You're like a kid at a candy store, right? Before you go there, do you not? Before you begin, say, I want to just thank God for all that I have. Oh, my God is such a loving God. My God is such a, is such a, a, a wonderful, merciful God. And, and with this God, there's nothing that I cannot have. There's nothing that I cannot be. Oh, thank this God. Well, wait a minute. Hold up. Let's pause for a second. That's all nice and hunky-dory. But let us remember that when we're dealing with the ancestral realm, it is the same law and principle applied. You first need to come in a sense of humility, also in a sense of mercifulness, because you have no idea how long your, your royal bloodline that you have, that ancestry that makes you so special, okay, these people who were freedom fighters, who lost their lives, who shed blood, so that we could be free right now this minute to even have this conversation, okay? They need their thanks and they need their praises too. Okay, because at the end of the day, before they transcended into being spiritual energies that we can call upon, they were people just like you and I. That's what makes it so special, meaning that they shared characteristics of pain, of anger, of agony, of oppression, of all of those things. So, therefore, we owe to them as well a servitude, a gratitude. And that's what people miss the mark on. You run into say, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to go to this uh, Mambo and Ugin because I need this, 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 that, and the third done. Okay, I got you. You got your little money. You're thinking you're going to go in and you're going to get your service and it's all good and then turn your back and keep it moving. But once again, when you do a service, for example, I got, if I have to go to work tomorrow, Monday morning, 8 o'clock, right and early, for that day that I worked, what am I expecting? I'm expecting to be paid for that day that I came into work. It mm -hmm. is the same principle, okay, that applies with our ancestry, okay? You come in, for example, there is a need, there is a want that you have, okay? They're ever so grateful to even come to listen to what it is you have to say, okay? Now, they tell you, well, you don't have it right now. You're in a tough spot. Things are going on. I understand. I could see there's a suffering in your life. I could see that there's a problem. There's something really there. I'm not going to charge you right now. I don't need this or that right here this minute. What I do need is for you to get better, your situation to improve, and then when the time is right, and that you will know when it's right. You will feel it. You know because you didn't go there for no reason. So you know there's an energy that comes over you, either whether a dream or it just hits you. It's time now for recoupment, to repay. You have to pay what you owe. Meaning if you make a promise and you say, well, I get this job, this, the, the, the forces that be, the law helped me get this job. This job was a raise within $20,000 more within my, within my uh, pay for the year I'm giving you. Well, as that increase happens, I promise to give such and such money every month or every two, three months to the same uh, uh, temple or the same uh, priest or priestess, Ugin, Mumbo, whatever, that helped me get there. Okay, that helped me get there, meaning there's a recoupment that they want. Why? Not for their own personal need per se. It's really about nourishing the same kind of services that are going to be able to keep them going for the next person that might come over and to have accessibility services and things for the next person who may need work. Because we are dealing as a family. Loi has principles. It has levels, okay? We are dealing as a family. It's about time that we start acting like it, okay? Family does not go out there and run out and badmouth one another when something doesn't go their way. No. They sit there within their circle and they talk it out. They work it out. They find out what was the cause, what was the root, the problem that began, that got it to where it, began, where, where it is now. 
You understand what I'm saying? I Meaning it's about keeping a circle, a family. We are family. And it's the same precepts and principles that the uh, uh, spiritual, that the law and the system of that in voodooism goes through and deals with. Yes, 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 definitely. And uh, as the sister speaks, we make sure to understand that everything she's saying is, is, is law applied. There is things that they, cause let, let, let us remember, law. This is, I even said in the infomercial of the show, law is, is the same three letters for the English uh, uh, name for law. Law Correct. is law. Cosmic law, natural law, or law. You understand? Thank you. So that this is what it is, basically. You know what I mean? So anything that she say, make sure to comprehend it on a deep level so that we can just apply it because there's no going out of these laws. You can, like, you know, we are being of free will. We can go out of the law and everything, but we have to expect the, the consequence, to pay the consequence. Because mm-hmm. even looking at our situations today, the way that things are going, about if we can go uh, financially where 1% is holding uh, power over the 99, all of that is because the 1% themselves, they, they stay within the, the confines of, uh, of the law. Even if mm-hmm. they're, they're treating you a certain way, but they know certain laws, how to use them, and uh, you know the alchemies and all of these things, they, they, they stay within the, 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 the confinement of these things. Us, we just go blindly, mm-hmm. basically, blindly just doing whatever we want without uh, uh, any thought of, 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 of the consequences, all right? Mm-hmm. So this is why I'm so glad that she's here today. Just I'm, I'm already enjoying everything she said. So, sister, feel free to take it away. Sure, sure, and without a doubt. So uh, falling back to what I said before as far as dealing within uh, reconciliation, the reason I stress this so much is because, again, we are transcending within Earth right now from a third-dimensional plane where Earth is graduating into a fifth-dimensional plane. Now, scientifically, alchemically, that means one thing, but In a spirituality format, it means the same thing, but yet broken down within, once again, the law, the law, the principle. As we are awakening every day, somebody's turning the light on saying that there's more to life than just paying bills and working until you die and that kind of thing and getting your back and bones aching and wait till you're old and gray to be driving a nice car or to be able to take a vacation and these things. No, there's more to life than that. There's something brilliant, there's something magical happening inside of us that's causing us to awaken right now, okay? And it's a beautiful time. But with that being said, we also have to definitely be careful because, as we know, Earth is full of illusions. The Matrix, that movie, was a brilliant expose of showing us how we have choices, red pill, Blue pills, that kind of thing, you know, showing us that at the end of the day we have choices, okay? Um, The illusion is one thing, but what, how you trod through the illusion is another thing. The only defense mechanism, the only weapon you can ever have is going back inside. We have to understand that at the end of the day, Voodooism, when we say we're dealing with traditional science, where we're dealing with nature, it means exactly that. Example, when you're dealing with the tree elements and going back into nature and grounding yourself, there's something where they tell you a lot of times when you need to get a stress and certain um, negative ions out of your body that you need to walk up to a tree barefooted, get in the grass, walk on the grass, walk in, you know, walk in the sun, get your body free for a minute, okay? Be with nature, all right? That in the same token would be the same equivalent as Grabois. Grabois is a tree element. The tree element has always been here. When we deal with spirits, they always tell you, ancient folklore, however, that the spirits deal or they live or they're hosted, that's their hotel, is within the tree. Okay? So it's the same it's the same parallel thing that you're looking at, meaning one thing always connects to another. Okay, there's nothing here that we're dealing with that is not of science, that is not of alchemy, that is not of our you know, it already in our DNA. 
okay, that's not already there. We, especially as a people of color, okay, as melanated, as carbon-based beings. And what I mean by carbon, I mean people who can carry heat. We can absorb heat. Heat does not kill us or give us cancer or all these other things typically. Okay, that's when the DNA is not manipulated. But I just go to say that generally to say that people with carbon, that we can accept that sun. The sun is giving us information. And it's the same situation with everything in nature. The water is giving us information every day. The sky, the water. Wind gives us a piece of information every day. So we have to understand that when we talk about voodoo and getting back into our tradition, okay, as African people and African spirituality, that all we're saying to ourselves is, I want to get back into nature. I want to found and to bring myself back to the natural source. Because that is all this is about, going back home. And when I say going back home, that doesn't automatically mean Africa or Haiti. Yes, we know our roots thus far, but this is even deeper than all of that. This is going back within self, and whatever's shining within is going to shine, you know, on the outside as well. That's just really what this comes down to, okay? Um, a beautiful thing that I'd like to make reference to is how – for years and years and years and years, those that are the elite, those with the money, the power, and the time, every movie that they can get a chance on that's going to be a big box office hit deals strictly, if not all the way, with some form of displaying magic, okay? I can start from Harry Potter on down to um, The Hobbit, on down to, I mean, there's just so many, Poseidon and the Adventures of of Poseidon, Lord of the Rings. They're all showing you how there is this world within worlds within worlds that deals solely on a magical level. Now, it's funny you say that. With all those we've talked about, (laughs) notice how black and African people are barely ever in those movies. Okay, there's a specific reason for that. They know that you're the one who cho- who is the chosen, who has the true power within you. So why would they waste their time and their millions of dollars promoting you who already has the power? No, 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 no. They're going to use their own, which are, of course, unfortunately, the weaker race, the, you know, the more degenerate race, et cetera, to go ahead and promote the very same thing that makes you so special and so godlike and so divine. They're going to use that and try to convince their people, their race, that they're the chosen ones and the divine, okay? So at the end of the day, we have to start asking ourselves too, what is it that we are doing with our dollars, with our time, with our knowledge, okay? Not all of us know, so of course, I don't uh, badger anyone who's not in the position yet or doesn't know yet. This is why we give information, why we share. But exactly. Take a look at it. Why would I continue going to pay $12, $13, $14, $15 for a movie ticket, okay, when my brother or sister who might be trying to make a movie, a little smaller independent movie showing, okay, the mystery system or showing, you know, us on the screen a lot more, why would I not go and invest in that? So we also have to address the fact that there's a huge problem with showing enough visual okay, visual uh, material that can promote and support the lifestyle of voodooism, okay, of voodoo, of the mambo, of the priest, of the, of the beauty in the magic that is voodoo, that makes up that nature, that traditional science, like I said before. Because with me now, if you don't know anything, by the end of this <laughs> presentation, you're going to know that. I don't use the word voodoo anymore. I tell a person, no, I am practicing traditional science, okay? Therefore, at the end of the day, reason being, and and I'll share that, is because voodoo has been given such a negative connotation in a society, okay, that now it's about high time that we give it the proper name. This is a science, a science given by who? Our ancestors. What were our ancestors in connection with? nature. So basically, it's a tradition, meaning passed on from 
generations to generations and tribes after tribes, Africa going all, all the way via into Haiti, going all the way via into revolution, etc. Okay? And it's a science nonetheless at the end of the day. So what I say, what I urge our people to start listening and to rationalizing is that no, let's keep them with their name thinking that loot is all this bad and all that. No, 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 no. How about we usher in as the new generation of those who speak on behalf of our ancestors and we say that today we proclaim that it is traditional science. Because if you pay attention, once again, every other race out there, Indians have their Hinduism, Chinese have their Buddhism, okay? We have uh, um, the Jews with their Judaism, okay? We have the, the Arabs with their Muslim, et cetera, et cetera. We have our African people who, unfortunately, they always ran out because they know the power to give it a bad name so that people like you and I, okay, the younger generations, generations to come, could be afraid, could be, could be, you know, fearful, could be, just wouldn't even want to touch on the subject whatsoever. You'd be so far spooked from the movies that they display, from the things that they say, the things that they write, et cetera, so that, again, you never get that chance in order to tap into the most powerful thing that will guide your life and create manifestations for you, okay, at the end of the day. So that's really what this boils down to. We are proclaiming now that we deal with traditional science, okay? We are deeper than just the average mambo, the average uh, 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 um, uh, uh, hoogan. We are even deeper than that. We are people who deal as alchemic priests and alchemic priestesses, okay? We know that all these things are nothing but elements of nature, and we embrace the elements of nature because we know with every part of nature on the outside, there lays that same energy base foundation with inside of us as well. So there is nothing, and I mean absolutely nothing, to be afraid of, Okay? Fear and being afraid, the worst thing that you can do to yourself is be afraid of something that you do not take the time and the patience and the humility to understand, overstand, understand. You do yourself a crime, okay, because there's so many ancient mysteries. There's so many beautiful things to know on this planet, inside Earth, <laughs> in the water, okay, in the sky, okay, civilizations and things you wouldn't even begin to believe, okay, underwater worlds and cities, etc. So the more that you go in and the more that you seek, the more that you shall find. And as long as you look with an open heart, with humility of a child, because even in their Bible they tell you the only people that will become in the kingdom of heaven is those that have the heart of a child. What do you think that means? It means the innocence, being humble, being able to receive information in a way, in a state, in a fashion, okay, that is of gentleness, kindness, and understanding for our brother, sister, whoever, and wherever they may be. Do not look down upon a man because he's without clothing or food in that corner. He might just be a God right then and there watching and testing you to see exactly what you're going to do. Yep. That's your blessing is the, that is your blessing in disguise. You don't even know it. And many times, and I, I will share this from personal experience, a lot of times as you go more and more within your system of traditional sciences, <laughs> the energies that be, the law that be, will do that on purpose to see exactly where your heart is. And if you're worthy of the certain requests or the demands that you make for what it is that you're seeking in your life, Remember, it's a give, get, get, give, okay? You must give in order to receive. You must be grateful for what you have and be willing at any time, whenever called upon, to be able to share that love because love is the only thing that really the loi understand. That's the only language that they really understand, okay? Whether you talk about it in the so-called good law and bad law, mm -mm, there is no good or bad. Like I said, it's the intention. Uh, many times people get so afraid of um, 
the Giddies and the Baon Samedi Nation and the Brigitte and all that. No, 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 no. You made yourself afraid because, once again, people, and I, and I say this in a mass, especially our people, we have used it so long for the wrong things and given it such a bad name because of the fact that, once again, once things don't go our way, we run out there, play like we're all religious, and we, oh, I, I, I'm Christian now. I've turned my life over to the Lord. I no longer want to deal with these things. These things are the devil. They are evil. Yeah, <laughs> but it wasn't evil a week ago, though, when your ass was going over to the Ugin or the Mumble trying to get some, <laughs> some work done. You understand what I'm saying? It wasn't bad then. You was all in there then. Oh, I'm going to kill the person that, that did this to me. Oh, yeah, we about to take him down. Oh, he going down. You, you understand what I'm saying? And then, when they, and then what doesn't happen, you, you, then you're all in a rut. You know what I mean? You're all in a bad place. Forgetting you're the one who came to them. They don't come knocking on your door. You come knocking on their door. So make sure that you come correct. Because that's life. It's the same way you have a boss or a manager or a supervisor. You know that you need to keep your job. So you, you know your ass need to come there on time. You know you need to be dressed within whatever uniform they gave you. You know that you have to have a certain time you take break, certain time that you clock out and you get out of work, et cetera, et cetera. You know that there's certain protocols at the job that you have to do and not do. It is the same token, and I mean the exact same token, same layout when dealing in the terms of the loi, okay? They don't call themselves law for nothing, all right? It's all about discipline. It is all about as you give, so you receive. Say what you do, uh, do what you say you're going to do. You know, that kind of thing. Be a person of your word. Deal with them in integrity and respect, and they will return you the same kind of love and ten times over more, matter of fact, okay? Yes. So with that being said, I just wanted to make sure that, um, you know, brother, whatever you are ready or if there's anyone with any questions and that kind of function, I'm more than happy to, uh, to speak with anyone who, who has anything on their mind. Let, let's hear it. Yes, anyone with a question, uh, feel free to ask. Uh, as the sister's going on with it, you know, I mean, uh, you know, with the enlightening us right now, and I'm pretty sure you guys are feeling the vibration of truth and love and everything, you know what I mean? So uh, feel free to ask your questions, you know what I mean? Uh, just open your mind and ask the, 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 the questions that will bring about, you know, mean, uh, some light to, to us all. Right. Sure, of, of what we feel, you know, what we feel. And um, at this particular time, in between that, I would just like to give a very big salute and a shout-out to uh, Shane Khan Studios. Uh, if anybody hasn't gotten a chance to see that video as of yet that the brother spoke of on YouTube, it's called Voodoo, The Final Frontier, okay? You can type okay. that in, like, you, or you can type in my name, Hathor Akhenaten, and um, I have a channel, so that would probably be the first video you would see on the channel, okay? Um, subscribe, like it, share it, you know, leave your comments. I am all open to hearing my people because I do it for you. I don't do it for me. I do it for us. Okay, this is a journey we are all taking together at the end of the day. No one is more than the other. We're here to love and to learn. That's it. There's all, all other things is just is BS, to be honest. Uh, the, Anybody who's not looking for that, you know? The name of the game now is, is selfless. Basically. You have to be selfless somehow. You know? Correct, you correct. That's what we're at at the point right now. You know what I mean? So, so Surely. No doubt about it. So uh, once again, like I said, we're in the New York area here in the East Coast. Uh, Shankon Studios, we're going to be um, this year dealing with some skits where we deal uh, deeper with um, representing each and every spirit. The first one that you saw was Erzuli Frida. Shout out to Erzuli. Um, these are the energies that roll with, with, with your sister Hathor Akhenaten very hard. Okay. Um, hence the reason my name is Hathor is because you have Erzuli Danto, you have Hathor. It's the same energy and frequency of sound. Remember, sound frequencies is everything. Everything, okay? Same way as you have Heru, 
you have Ogu. You have the you have to understand the frequency. The names change, but the energies never change. Okay, they never change. So it's just really important that you pay attention to stuff. Little stuff like that even will let you know how our ancestors were never not there with us. They've always been here, always. You understand? So, uh, with that being said. Even even in the Bibles and the Quran, all the religious books, also they mm-hmm. just send the name. Basically, they're talking about the same forces. Just like very um, true. We, mm. we know in Christianity, you know, we mentioned before on the show about uh, mm-hmm. the, the the character Jesus. Most people praise him as as a character or human being, but what they mm-hmm. do is mostly based on Heru, you know, I means or basically on on Ra. Also, you know, I mean, the sun, exactly. Of the sun, S-U-N, indeed, not the S O N, you know, correct. It's just misunderstanding, basically. They're, they're all talking about the same, same uh, energy, same, same energy. Same and, energy. And what we have to remember, <laughs> too, is um. Yeah, going on that just real quick, when you said that, you brought a great point, which is when you deal and you talk about Jesus Christ, what the Christ factor that they keep talking about and how he had that energy of the sacrificial energy and all that, all that's trying to tell you Christ is a consciousness. And anyone who understands that will understand when they talk about Christ, or they're always giving you that Christ figure, all they're trying to tell you is is that for the sacrifice of the greater good, which is the integrity, the truth, the justice that is is the law, the law, okay, that is within inside of you, great sacrifices come about with it as well. And when I mean sacrifices, I'm not talking about sacrifice going and killing people and stuff. No, 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 no. What I mean with that is that this is dealing within your morality, okay, your morality, your integrity, your discipline as a human being here on earth, okay, because we all have a duty. We all have a purpose. And within that purpose, it's never, no one ever said it was going to be easy, that it was going to be a walk around the park. But at the end of the day, Anything worth fighting for is something that you deserve and you better know is worthy of having because that's what life, in essence, is all about, okay? If our ancestors taught us nothing at all, they taught, taught, taught us more than anything that within that 13 years of them fighting, bloodshed, okay, and all these kind of forms of oppression, et cetera, from the biggest superpowers in the world, at that time, you got France coming at you, Britain coming at you. I mean, you might as well say the whole world against this one little holy, sacred piece of land and people, okay? So it's just to show you that they gave us a beautiful lesson about sacrifice, okay, about being able to hold out and to stand for something when you know it's right, Okay, this is the thing that in America or in the world as we speak right now that we lack of, okay, there's no more real people. All right, unfortunately, people sugarcoat shit. Um, a, a piece of paper makes them run out and do the dumbest, stupidest, most perverted, most disgusting things to one another, okay? Parents against their, their, their um, children, okay? Mothers and daughters in competition with each other, uh, fathers and sons bickering, fighting, no love with each other, children. I mean, just total Hold chaos. On. You know, total chaos. And we, at this moment, have to begin to break those chains. But once again, the only way we're breaking those chains is if we go back to the very source that made us divine, the very source that created, okay, that sense of divinity, that sense of togetherness, all right? At the end of the day, all those African slaves that came from where they came from, West Africa, the Congo, you know, you had the Diome, you had just so many beautiful different Benin, Togo, you name it. All these different tribes came together in wherever they were from, and they came and they sourced and they joined forces. They joined their resources because each had a spiritual, uh, I guess you could say, way of doing things. But what they agreed on was, hell no, uh-uh, this oppression of being in chains is not cool. So we're going to join whatever resources, whatever the hell we know, we're going to bring that shit together because it's time. 
okay? There's no more playing games. There's no more acting like what's going on in front of us is not here. We are, as a people, are at war. But we are not at a war that you're thinking, oh, we're on the front line with guns and things. No, we're in a spiritual warfare. This is the first warfare that black people, Haitian people, especially being some of the leader or the freedom fighters, the forefront that they know for voodoo reason and for that kind of thing. We are in a spiritual warfare. Our warfare is this. Our ancestors are upset with us because, again, like I said, from neglect, from abuse, it's the same thing. You have a child. You have a daughter. You have a son. Years go by. They go to, you know, school. You're never there. You're never there to attend any events. You don't care. You don't give any kind of interest in what they're trying to do in their life. You know, you show up 21 years after. Hey, you knew I was your dad. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm your mom. I gave you birth. You understand what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Where were you 20 years ago? Where the hell were you 10 years ago even? Okay? You just now coming in my life and telling me you're here? Wait a minute. So I'm ain't adding up. So what you must understand is the same thing with our uh, uh, forefathers, okay, our loi, our ancestry, who where they look at it is like, damn, I've been protecting them. I have been shielding them from what so many things that could have happened to them. I have been watching over them, their families, for generations and generations. Despite whatever uh, 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 unfortunate circumstances you think you going on in your life. You have no idea how bad it could have gotten if those very ancestors did not have a, you, a love that was so unparalleled for you, okay, towards you in order to keep you shielded from so many more things. You have no idea, none. And that's the exact reason why we're in the position we are now. We don't have any idea. We don't have a clue. Well, this is what I'm saying. Right now, as we speak Okay, today being Sunday, which is 13, which is a transformational number, okay, a huge transformational number, I say to any of those that are listening, any of those who are not even listening but the energy is being uh, broadcasted out there, that we have to begin to get into a zone of humility, reconciliation, seeking a sense of a forgiveness for the times and all of the neglect that we've given, all the bad names and bad mouthing and negativity that we've allowed, not only ourselves, but our, our family, you know, all these fake people playing like they're going to church, playing like they're in all these different religions and all that, playing like they're better than you because they think they got it all figured out. No, 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 no. The time is now. No more hiding. Our ancestors do not want to be kept, kept hidden anymore. And this is facts. This is the very reason of the inspiration that we have now within the studio, within the videos that I, I, the video I did and the many to come. It is an energy showing that they no longer want to be held down, okay, shadowed over, okay, talked about like this negatively, et cetera, okay, without justification, just, just because. They know, just because they're back, back, they're lost they're people. They're sister, without calling you off, they just don't want to be sitting back and watching us destroy ourselves. We Thank you. Know, you. Part of everything they have done. In the Correct. Country. Indeed. Indeed. Okay. In a nutshell. So I say that in this time, Okay, Whatever. the same way you know you have to give a, a certain amount of hours per day to that job that you have that you, you care so much about to go and pay that one percenter's bill, these rich millionaire billionaires who use the very same science that you're neglecting to run and control you. I say this to you tonight and every day from here on out. Get voodoo or die trying. That is my hashtag on Facebook. That will be my hashtag everywhere. It's in the video. It will be everywhere that it can be. You know why? I'd rather be on this physical realm dying, earning, charging myself, encouraging myself to learn the truth than to continue living here as a sheep, living here as, a, as what these 1% call us parasites. Sheep, the, 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 the non-important, 
You know what I'm saying? The ones that don't mean anything because at the end of the day, their children are in their private schools. They have their beautiful mansions. They're taking their vacations all the way across the world. They're going and learning your very same ancient mysteries. They're going to the ceremonies. They're taking themselves to all kinds of remote areas in Africa and Haiti. They're the ones. They're the ones that come there, the politicians, the governors, the, the you know, the presidents, okay, all right, and so forth and so on. They're the ones. How do you think that they keep the money in the circle going? It's because the very thing that they use every day as best as they can for you to fear it, they are in the background using it to extents that you would not even believe. You would not even begin to believe how dedicated that they are, how focused they are. Okay, how much money and time that they spend in order to analyze, strategize how to keep you as far away from your power and how to, for them to keep themselves as close enough to it to keep controlling the world, not just here in America, the world at large. That's, That's large. why they're the 1%, because they keep themselves in that very same circle. They understand that in a circle there must be discipline, there must be respect within the ancient knowledge that you know and within the privacy of the kind of things that you come to know, and that it has to be kept secret for a reason because not everybody's meant to rule. There has to be leaders. There has to be people that enforce the leaders and strengthen the leaders. People call them followers. No, they're not. They're people that give strength to the leaders in order to continue forward. So not for themselves, but for the whole, for the masses, for the oneness, for the one goal that we have, which is liberation. Okay? Liberation mentally, liberation physically, and most importantly, liberation spiritually, because if we don't have that first, we're not going anywhere, brother. We ain't going nowhere. It ain't happening. It's not happening, okay? Sad to say. I hate, hate to break it to you, but that's just the way it is. It's just, that's just really what it boils down to, okay? <laughs> so I just say that because uh, I talk with such conviction because I know the great potential and the great history and the great bloodline, the royal bloodline that we come from. And whether you're Haitian or not, this is why people must understand. This is not about being from one little place in one country. The reason we use Haiti or that we respect Haiti is because different African tribe energies, nations, etc., came together on that piece of land. And that's what makes it special. So basically, that's not Haiti history. This is black history. These are the kind of things that should be celebrated Black History Month. Actually, no, Black History Year in the schools, in the colleges, in the high schools, in the elementary schools. This is what these children need to know. We were fighters from the day that we could ever be in existence we've been fighting. And there's a grand finale and a reason behind that. But the more that you humble yourself and the more that you make contact with your very core, which is your ancestors, because your ancestors are you. You are them. It's just a reflection of each other. We bounce back our reflection of them every day, okay? That's what nature is all about, okay? Nature bleeds. Nature hurts. Nature has mood swings the whole same way like us, same way as human beings. So once again, just to show you the correlation, nothing is different. Everything is the same. Everything bounces back off of one another, energy, et cetera. Okay? The law is no different. No different. As above, so below. As within, so without. Yes, yes, yes. Us, brother, yes. Aibobo. Straight. Aibobo. That's it. Yeah. Ashe, That's it. That's right. That's right. Power, power. It's what we have. And, and the more that we begin to realize it, the more we will be able to control and manifest our destiny so much more. And our destiny is not just only including ourselves. And well, of course, we all want to be well. We all want to have, you know, the house, the stability, the, you know, the funds to take care of our family, the access to be able to be happy. But the true happiness before you can even get into all those things, ultimately, it has to be the happiness and the knowing of self, okay? 
I, I, like I said before within the video I, that, I, that I said, is that in order for one to know thyself, one must love thyself. You have to love and know that your culture is rich, is beautiful, is something to be proud of because people kill and imitate you and your culture and your ancient traditions every day, every day. They copy off of you. Every day they, would, they strive, they study, they want to be you. And here you are being you and not even appreciating or understanding the value of being who you are and where you're from and the bloodline that you originate from. Indeed. So anyone have any questions for the sister? So feel free to ask. Uh, so uh, as uh, uh, the floor is yours, and uh, if not, uh, the sister can, can just uh, go ahead and continue. As we can see that everyone is just uh, taking in, you know, in the, the information, which is why we're here. All right, like she said, you know, knowing self is first and foremost. Because just like we know, uh, if we can recall about uh, Madonna, that she had the fame, she had the money, but there was a time that she wanted to live a certain place in L.A., and she was not allowed to, you understand? Because at that time, she didn't know who she was, and she, she, she was not uh, in that uh, level or something. Because it's not really about the money, about what you have or something, but first, the only thing that they respect, especially those who already have, the money that you seek, all they care about is that you respect yourself and you know yourself. So that's the other, and as she said also, the, the, the fact that they don't respect or they, they, they call you the parasite is, is, is the way we treat ourselves, the way we, we just disregard our ancestors. And because to them, who, even the Chinese today, they even tell me that, like, you know, what type of people would live uh, along their, their, their ancestors and then just uh, take on some strangers and, and stuff like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> so that's why we have no respect for you guys. Like, it's not because you're black or because you're this, because you're that. Exactly. It's just the way you just handle yourself. Like, you know, you have no respect for, for, for self. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Agreed. You can walk into a room and at the end of the day, you don't even have to open your mouth. When your energy and in your ancestry and you know yourself, that thing shines from about 30 miles from where you are. Literally, our energy when we are awakened radiates up to 30 miles from where we are, meaning the power and the energy, the love, the, uh, the, in, the resilience, that strength that we display, that we walk with our heads up high with, that, it's contagious. It is contagious, okay? There are people people who will start to come by you and walk near you or just try to get close to you because they don't even understand themselves why they're doing it. It's the energy that you permeate, that you radiate with. It's so powerful that they just find themselves having to come near you, needing to say something to you, whether it's hello or, hey, I like your hat, or hi, how are you, or just random conversation. You'd be surprised. I say it because I get it all the time. No, it's so true. I say it because I get it all the time. And it amazes me every time, every time. I don't care. I could be in a grocery store. I could be in line waiting to pay for something. It does not matter. And, again, this is from white, black, blue, purple, from little children all the way up to 80, 70-year-olds. It does not matter. It doesn't matter. Okay? When you walk and understand and you have that connection, With that ancestry, that loi, that energy, it is so powerful on so many levels that it can't be denied. People who don't even understand or know what you are or, you know, your energy or what you care about or don't will just find themselves flocking to you just because, just because the energy is just that powerful. Yeah. You know? Like a magnet, basically. It is a magnet. Correct. You said the right word. It is magnetism. Very true. That is exactly the word. Yeah. You know? So you, so. you guys, you can ask the, the question. I, I think one of our teachers uh, probably has joined us, and because, uh, uh, you know, you wanted to hear a question for us. Sorry. 
I believe it is Brother Menra. How are you with us tonight? Yes, yes Brother Menra. Okay. Yes, greetings. I'm here. I'm listening, and I must say you're you're on the you're on point, man. I don't have any uh, questions, but you know because I truly resonate with what you're saying, and uh, that's where we are. We should be, and that's what we should be striving to do. Correct. Yes, brother. Because at the end of the day, how is anybody else outside of us going to respect us if we don't respect us and love us? You know what I mean? That's just really what this is all about at the end of the day. We're coming where we're trying to unite and make up for such lost time, for such lost time, for, for what we've been denied, what we've been lied to about. But again, I started off the lecture with saying we are in the age of Aquarius. This is not about guessing anymore. We're in our time of knowing that we are that, and we're going to walk it and live it and shout it to the rooftops if we have to, because that is the time we're particularly in right now okay so it's only fitting for us to pick up and get this energy and start rolling with it truly for the ultimate goal of our liberation of our people overstanding that we will not be anything if we don't have each other we are all we have we are we were always all what of what we had we just lost that through the time of, of unfortunately, self-hate and propaganda, society, you know, media, et cetera. But at the end of the day, there's always time to make it right because when you are chosen, and I say this again, our people, we are chosen, okay? We are that 12 tribes, okay? We are that 12 tribes, that holy, sacred 12 tribes of Israel they speak of. We are that, okay? Yes, We've always been. So now is the time for uh, those children once again. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. We are the Alpha and the Omega. So there's nothing new under a sun. Well said, my sister. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. But I, I, I want to also say, brother, I appreciate you and your work as well. Um, Heard you not too long ago, you know, giving your energy and giving your, your, your take on things. And once again, it just aligns with all that we've been saying. So at the end of the day, those that, you know, chosen by the most high and certain things that the ancestors call upon to give that message will continue to do just so. So, you know, definitely uh, gratitude and love to what you do and who you are as well. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I have a question for Sister Atar. Yes, brother, how are you? Peace. All right, this is Kathleen from Maryland. Um, what? How do you think, um, what is the best way you think um, we can make peace with our ancestry? That is a beautiful question, and I'm very glad that you asked. Very simple. The same way that you know you have to take moments out of your time, especially people that pray and feel that, yes, you know, before I go to bed, I pray. I wake up in the morning, I pray. That same kind of thing. Now, this is very simple. Yellow candles and white candles are universally candles to speak with the ancestral realm, okay? Whenever you feel you may not have a specific name or anything of that nature and you don't need it, not yet anyway, very simple. Get yourself in a quiet space in your home, okay? Whenever you, you know, shut that phone off, get the kids to bed, do whatever it is you need to do, and yellow candles, white candles, very important, light them, okay? Sit very quietly to yourself. Close your eyes. Open them, whatever you need to do, but just be in a place of peace where you can say, my ancestors, I call upon you this very moment to let you know that I come in peace, that I come in humility, that I come with the heart of a child, seeking to not only gain knowledge and wisdom, but also to ask for forgiveness for all of this lost time of communication that we've had amongst one another. At this particular time, I just ask humbly that you can invite me in, that you can open the doors. And as we all know, Papa Legba, very, very important you say this because tomorrow is Monday, okay? Papa Legba is the gate opener. 
okay, the one that has all the keys that opens and gives you the form of communication to communicate with all other ancestry. So very, very powerful that you ask this because tomorrow being the day of Papa Legba would be a beautiful time, a glorious time in order to do just what I spoke of with you as far as dealing with the yellow and white candle. If it makes you happy, you can even call his name either in the beginning saying Papa Legba, being the person who deals with the energy, excuse me, the loi that deals with opening of the communication, opening of the gates, I ask that you can open the gates for me so that I can have a, a moment, a word with my ancestors. It's been a very long time, and I ask for forgiveness and mercifulness upon that, but I am ready and I am willing. I would like to make communication. Very simple. Just as what you've heard I've said here. You finish saying your intent, you sit down, you have a conversation with them as if you were talking to your best friend across the room or on the phone or your auntie or your mama or your daddy or whoever. This is what they are. They are family. So you sit down and you have that moment with them and speak to them as such. Give them that respect you would give to anybody else who would sit there and call you on your phone because that's what essentially they're asking for at this moment. This is what comes first before any other higher forms can, can, can reach out and start to manifest. We just need to open that gate of communication right now. That's really where we are at the moment. So once again, very important. Tomorrow is the day of Papa Legba. Very important that anybody seeking who's really serious and who understands just how important it is to open a line of communication could use that time whether it be day, night, whatever is fitting for you, once again, to have that meditation, that time, in order to speak with them. Because trust me, they are ready to speak to you. And again, it, like I said, this is not some Harry Potter movie. They might <laughs> they're not, you're not just going to, oh, hey, I'm speaking to you right now. No, no, no. You'll go to bed. You'll go to sleep. You will see and you will have feelings in your dreams. You will wake up. You will feel a sense of refreshment, a sense of a lightheartedness. You will begin to feel and to see things in a better, clearer light, okay? Now, again, this doesn't happen overnight, but I say that a beginning is what we're looking for, that first step. You put that first foot out, they'll come and they will meet you. That is guaranteed. So, brother, I hope that, um, you know, helped to kind of clarify what it is you just asked. But, again, it's about opening that bridge, that line of communication at this point. Yes, thank you very I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Yes, you have a blessed night, brother. Yes, indeed. You do the same. Agreed. Nice. Thank you, bro. Thanks. Yes, any other questions, guys? This is a come ready. You understand? So to, to give you what you need. Actually, I do have, I do have another question. Okay. Hey, come with it, bro. Yeah. Come on. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. In the beginning of your expose, you, you said um, you talk about voodoo. You said there's different level in the voodoo. So what do you mean by that? Very good question as well. See, the brother's on it tonight. See, he knew what he was talking about. <laughs> okay, he was listening. No, <laughs> what I mean by that is that, um, okay, um, back in relation to uh, my video and what I, I kind of uh, expressed there, we right now are on this physical plane, okay? But we have planes that are higher than that, okay? We have different dimensions, different realms. The same way Papa Legba has a lot of keys, and he has a lot of different doors he can open with you, it's the same way as the, as the uh, mystery levels and the kind of knowledge that you gain. When I mean levels in the voodooism or in that kind of thing, I mean levels and degrees of knowledge, okay, that you can, that you attain as you go in through the journey, okay? So um, when I say that, it's not saying like, oh, yeah, you're graduating from this and you're going to be that. Now, as we know, we have Ugans, we have Mambo. Those people are people who take the special time and time away and say that they'd like to be initiated, okay, either by chosen, being chosen within the bloodline, or just having that will, that fire, that calling from the ancestor to get into that spiritual system, okay? Those are the people that we would revere as the uh, high placements within the voodoo society. Now, unfortunately, 
a lot of times, once again, going back on this, this thing has become very um, rare to find good ones because, unfortunately, they let ego and they let personal gains and wants and certain things get in the way of actually doing the works. So this is why I tell you everything goes off a of yin and a yang, the, the energy, the intent that you put inside of it, okay? What you give is what you get. You're going in there running thinking, yeah, yeah, I'm only trying to do this because really all I want to do right now is some money. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to take this vacation. I need to be out here Memorial Weekend. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, this is not what this is about, okay? That's all fun and cool, but I'm saying that to say yeah. that we got, bigger, we got bigger fish to fry, you know what I mean? You know, that's cool. You know, but we got bigger things to deal with right now than just going on Memorial Weekend. You feel me? So <laughs> I say that. I say that to say that when we deal and we talk about levels, that just means that as you grow within your communication, within, you know, uh, your personal connection with them, certain things will be revealed to you. What was meant to be revealed to you will be revealed, meaning the same kind, the information they might deal with me on would be, might be totally different and will be 99.9% .9 of the time than what might come in revelation to you because your life stream is one thing, your journey is one thing, your ancestry, your bloodline is another thing. So we all have a different, unique genetic code that, you know what I'm saying, has been, has been chosen for different things. That's what makes this thing so beautiful, so creative, so lovely, you know what I mean? So that's, um, that was what I, I meant with, in relation to when I spoke of levels and that kind of thing. Okay, is that enough for you, brother? Brother Cutley, is that is that enough? Did she answer your oh, question? Definitely. Well, definitely. Um, it, it's very clear. It, I would hope so. I hope so. Clear as a whistle, brother. Clear as a whistle. <laughs> That's it. Be low low. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and also, also for, for the candle, you were talking about the yellow candle and and, and the white candle. Is it any any candle? It doesn't it doesn't matter what what type they are. Uh, when you say type, well, you know, most of the time they have those plain uh, prayer candles, we would call them. They don't yeah. have anything on them, no saints, no pictures, no nothing, just just the color itself. You know, you can get those at anywhere from dollar stores to your local botanica store. Whatever you have in, in your possession, in your hands, is just fine. But it's just that color coding is very important because yellow is a communication color, and white just stands for a universalness of all the nations, of all the loi. You know, white being kind of that centered color, if you will, that they all use at one point in time, whether it be Petuo, Rada, Nago, or Gede, and that kind of thing. So, yeah. Got it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So definitely good luck to you with that. And, you know, I hope the gates and the bridges and certain things will open as you go, you know, on that quest because it's a beautiful one, you know. And once, there's, once you go in, ain't no coming out. But um, <laughs> what I mean by that is that it's just it's an adventure and it's beautiful. And, and every part of it is because it's about self-discovery. You're using your ancestry to kind of re recalibrate you and, re and help you regain your memory the amnesia that you've been under to help you regain that very memory that you need to move you forward. Yes. Take your place in life, basically, in, in the world. Your rightful place, exactly. Your rightful place, yes. And uh, so that's right. a question in the chat also. They ask, uh, what, what do you say of the offerings? Like, are they, are, are we to expect the, the Lois to come and really eat, or are they symbolic? Oh, okay. Well, that is an awesome question, too. Um, from my recollection, okay, in my timing of, uh, of, of dealing with offerings and services and that kind of things and altars and stuff, if I put something there, the energy of it is 
always eaten. Now, it's not going to be eaten like mouth to throat and that kind of thing, but you will see the energy being sucked completely dry. And I really wish that I had a way to get a picture to you. If in the event after we speak, brother, I can send a picture to you that you can put in the, in the chat room for anyone who'd like to see, I have proof to what I say. So whatever I put there, <laughs> I can see the life being sucked out of it. If it's, some, if it's plants, if it's herbs, if it's, you know, Jirico uh, Lapua, Listen, in two to three days, that thing is dried out, sesh, yeah, meaning so the that, end that, of, that's yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Imagine, mm-hmm. it's just like us. It's just like us. Correct. We are not just the body. We are also spirits and, uh, and uh, Correct. we have the mind. And so the food itself, like the, they are electrical beings like us. I mean, they do. The electrical, exactly. In, in the spiritual realm and, and things, you know what I mean? That can that can be uh, in accordance with with, with with the ancestors that that they can very much so the energy because it is also energetic. You know, exactly. Yeah. The fact that you made the food, the, you, the fact that the, the, the moment that you took the time to prepare, that whole process, you were fusing your energy into it. So now basically what you've done is you've given a jolt of your energy and you're doing an exchange with the energy of that force that you'd like to help you manifest whatever it is or that you're paying your respects to and all that kind of stuff. So, yes, they are very much alive and, yes, they do accept <laughs> if it's given humbly and if it's given with the intention and the right intentions again we're in this time now where it's no bullshit we can't continue to um go off of uh greediness of ego of selfish ambition all the time sometimes it's just about saying you know what i respect you the energy that you are you are in my home you are protecting me i am grateful and then sooner than later Just watch and see. The very thing that you were telling or saying that you need or the intent start coming to you. Now, again, that's not to demand what it is that you need, but understand there is a level of humility. There is a level, okay? There are things that are more important in your life than others, okay? Telling me that you're going to go on an altar because you want $300 a pair of Jordans is not what we're talking about, (laughs) okay? (laughs) However, saying that before you go to a job interview, you would like that job to go well for you because you do really, they really see the need you need it, okay, to feed yourself, your family, to propel yourself forward, okay? That promotion you may need for your job to go higher in what you're doing. Yes, yes, those things matter, and they will assist. They're there for that. But once again, you can't always say, gimme, 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 and then never, you know, be prepared to, you know what I'm saying, exchange that love. Remember, this is an exchange of love, of knowledge, of family, okay? Law, discipline. Indeed. Indeed. So a- any other questions? Sir? I tell them they don't got to be shy. We up here. We out here. <laughs> Remember, remember, I ain't gonna get the um, I ain't gonna get the voodoo doll on them. It's all good. I ain't gonna pick them. Now. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. You know, <laughs> we yeah, so, out here. Yeah. So, brother Menra, anything you wanna say? Last question. Sure. Okay. As I said, the, the sister um, so eloquently laid out the whole scenario, and I'm really enjoying it. And, uh, you know, hopefully I can get to meet her or something like that in the future. Many thanks, and I look forward to it as well. Um, uh, where, where, where in the area are you from, brother? Um, I, I'm not sure. I don't remember that part, but um, I'm sure you're in NY, but I guess what part possibly? Oh, well, I'm in New Jersey. Oh, okay, Jersey, cool, no doubt. All right, cool. Yeah, we we all we're all in that same vicinity at some way and point, right? Yeah, because there there are some things that I don't think should be uh, said on the you know over the internet in terms. Agreed, of, agreed, um, agreed. That. So the question I will reserve for you at a more you know private setting. <laughs> right, appropriate moment. I hear you. I'm with you. Yes. Yeah, yeah.
Agreed, agreed. Well, brother, I appreciate that, and we're definitely, um, by way of our brother with this show and this platform, you know, let's give it up and give a big shout-out to our, our brother that actually brought the platform about. You know, I want to say that um, the ancestors are guiding you to do something great as well as you begin mm-hmm. on your journey as well. So we want to just give you love for that because everybody – plays a certain role and an important and a special role. So um, yes. consider yourself definitely doing the works, you know what I mean? Pla- mm-hmm. You know, our voice is one thing, but the platform is a whole nother thing, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, thank so you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you very much. Yeah, so. It's you. Yes, mm-hmm. indeed. Indeed. Every time, all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know? you for the sister, eh? uh, so um, the you know the brother uh, Menra. So the yeah. question can be asked on on uh, over the phone because there are things that we may not be aware of, and you know they are adept and they are yeah. of higher understanding of, of correct. Yes. Yeah. So for our own sake, basically, or, you know, I mean, for our own uh, uh, limited understanding of, of certain things, you know, I mean, so they, they might have to take it uh, privately or so. But, you know, mm-hmm. that, that doesn't mean that one day we're not going to come to to the understanding where we can sit among the adepts. But until yeah. then, you know, I mean, we have to be shielded of, of certain things for, for, for our own well-being. Agreed. It's called it's called protecting the coven, protecting the coven, protecting the circle, because it's very important. Um, everybody that's everybody knows that there is a there is a limit to everything. So um, you know, we gave what we could give based on what the ancestors allowed and what they thought was um, reasonable. Um, so at the end of the day, I will drop um, my Facebook profile is Hathor H A T H O R. Akunan, A-K-U-N-A-T-E-N. Anybody is more than welcome to friend me, follow me, any type of inboxing that you might want to do. Um, if it's something that gets really deep, then we'll go more private where we can deal on emailing. Um, if there's a piece of information I need to send to you, things of that nature, that kind of function, okay? Um, okay. So just just keep that in mind. Um, I'm on YouTube as well. Like I told you, the video, the fi- Voodoo, the Final Frontier, done by yours truly, Shankon Studios. Okay, Shankon Studios is um, triple S H E N K triple A N Studios. S T U D I O S dot com. It's long, Shankon. Don't ask me. It's an energy that came to us and told us that's the name they wanted it to be. So if the spelling looks um, foreign, it's because it's totally something that was given on a higher realm. So like I said, ShankonStudios.com, we deal with music videos. We'll have more skits coming over here in in the NYC. Um, We're working on some really cool stuff, a Papa Legba skit. We're going to be doing, you know, that Toi Femme d'Egypte. We have we have so much really cool stuff going. I don't even want to talk too much, we're, but we're looking just, forward to yeah, we're gonna be doing some really beautiful things. It's about time that our ancestors get shed in the proper light, okay? In the light that they deserve, in the light that they fought for, okay? It's our job. It's our responsibility. So, I just urge that. Um, Whoever is listening to this here, you know, it's just about showing love, showing support, spreading the video, um, you know, leaving comments. Um, hey, like I said, I'm on Facebook. I'm accessible on Instagram. My name is Voodoo Diva, V-O-O-D-O-O-D-I-V-A, Voodoo Diva. So you can find me on Instagram as well. And, um, you know, just look forward to beautiful things coming. You know, we got lots in store. And in, like I said, it's not for us. It's for the, it's for the collective movement. For the so. all. Yeah. It's for the all. So, I feel I feel it would be uh, incomplete if we don't ask you a little bit about uh, your beautiful self, sister. Like, tell us <laughs> how, how how you come about to 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 be awakened, uh, to be in tune with the ancestors, because this is the greatest uh, one of the greatest uh, achievement in this in this time. You know, I mean, to you know say that again. Tune with self. You understand? You can so say can, that can again. Can you with us uh, how it happened and, uh, and uh, how did you deal with it in the beginning so that anyone, you know, who's going to go for the higher spirituality, you know, I mean, uh, so that they, they, they can learn a thing or two. 
Sure. Okay. So with me, um, it happened with me where, um, well, just as a little girl, period, I had always been very cultured. I mean, kindergarten, I was telling mom, don't press my hair, don't do nothing, keep me in my afro. Um, just little things like that. I mean, I danced when I was younger. I used to love African folklore, you know, come home from school, get out of that European uniform, throw on my African dashiki thing my mom got me, be dancing all <laughs> around the house like I was crazy, you know, but that was just always just trying to show that form of expression that I loved what where I was from my origins meant so much to me um I again I grew up you know my mother um Haitian my father as well Haitian American background and um I can say I was privileged to be able to get um the juices of them because they were never afraid to show me really where I was from the kind of music the food, the, you know, the energy, the vibe that was that. Now, once again, they were not heavily involved with that sector of the whole culture, but um, once again, typically most Haitian people or Haitian American, that Catholic thing going, you know, forget about it. So I did my Holy Communion, the whole nine, you know, oh. the big cakes, the dress, the whole nine. I've been there, done that. But um, where it really came to me was um, – my king and I, um, my king and I knew each other since we were about 16, and um, there just came this tight position within, you know, um, the transition of becoming, from, from leaving the teen life to becoming adults, where, you know, certain really big decisions had to be made, and, um, you know, that caused a moment of uh, separation, so to speak. Um, within that moment, there was a magical period that happened where, um, you know, my king had certain energies. My, you know, my kindred came with a certain energy and said, hey, check this out, check that out. To be honest with you, one of the first uh, lectures or one of the first people that I checked out was uh, Brother Bobby Hammett and Dr. Phil Valentine. Okay, those are some of the the first energies or the first lecturers or, you know, things that came to me. And um, within, you know, one thing leading to another, watching things on YouTube, just having that energy from what, you know, he had sent me. He said, hey, check this out, check that out. And, you know, one thing led to another. And at that particular time, I I I was in a very sensitive situation where, you know, that information was vital vital to the next move that I would make in life. So um, with all that being said, the ancestors said, hey, (laughs) hello, wake up, you know. Um, Immediately after, you know, uh, watching these things, I started dreaming and remembering my dreams, things I never had, um, you know, never happened to me before. So um, those things started to help me get symbols and certain uh, interpretations when I asked or I researched, oh, what does this mean? What does this mean when you see this or see that? One thing led to another, and I began to understand that there was something way bigger here than just watching some videos on YouTube, you know what I mean? There was something that was talking to me, that was telling me it's time to open up on things and to understand this knowledge. So um, that's where it was for me. You know, I took a... um, I did one of my first spiritual baths. Um, I learned it from listening to a lecture, and I wrote down the ingredients and word for word, boom, do this, do this, do that. And what it was with me is I just didn't have fear. I kept myself in a childlike position. I stayed with my humility, and I was able to just follow suit and be free again, to think in the term of a child, not be egotistical, not be prideful, not try to act like I'm all that, whatever, just to let it come in, in the natural order, in a natural selection. So I did just that. And when I did, I mean, again, (laughs) one thing led to another, that led to another, that led to another. And, you know, it's it's been fire. It's been fire, magic, beauty ever since, you know. I'm, I'm never without because they got my back, you know, in all senses of the word, protection, knowledge, opportunity, et cetera. You know, I, I could never say that I've ever had a sour taste in my mouth because I approached it with a humble heart. I approached it um, in a loving manner, and that's really the first step to whatever it is you think you're going to start doing within that journey. It really is about knowing yourself. You know, having that integrity, that love inside of you and dealing with it in that, in that way. When you do, you'll never go wrong. So, you know, here, I, here, here we are today. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> here we are. That's a beautiful journey, and we hope that. Here we are. 
we hope that you yeah. continue to, 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 to evolve, continue to be better and better and better, and so that the ancestors uh, shower their blessing upon you. And uh, we Thank you, you always Thank have you in our circle as well. And uh, we send indeed, you our indeed. love and energy, you know, so uh, that, that is very beautiful, though. So like she said, yeah. it's all about self, and we know the highest maxim is all is self. You understand? So it's Agreed. everything. You have to treat everything as you as as yourself. Have respect. Agreed. For right. Love yourself. You know. You gotta cherish, nourish yourself, nourish your ancestors, nourish. Give them that time. Meditate once a day. You know. Call on those energies. Research them. You don't know names yet. Go out and find out. That's what that online and those smartphones and tablets and all that stuff is about. It's not just to be on world star hip hop and all that. No. We have a time for that, but there's a time, okay, to to be able to settle down and say, okay, but let me look up this, this, and this and that too because, hey, this is important. I need to know what time it is, what my ancestors' names was, who was the ones who fought, you know, who battled up in the, in the, in the rebellion, you know, who, what were the energies, the tribes, names, and that kind of thing. And, and one thing will always, guaranteed, lead to another. And then you'll just start seeing the magic and the knowledge unravel itself to you because it was time for it to happen. So when it's time, it just, it goes, like I said, natural order. That's what law, law, law is all about. Yes. Okay. Indeed. So with that being said, brother, um, you know, if nobody else has any questions, um, I'm going to have to go and prepare my thoughts, have certain situations, meetings, <laughs> all kind of stuff in the morning and all kind of things. But, you know, just, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm very happy and humbled, and um, we definitely will be doing this again very soon, you know. Very soon. I definitely look forward to have you on again because uh, there's so much that she could have said. And as well, we have uh, we have to again uh, invite the brother Menra to continue his uh, his lecture because uh, mm-hmm. you know, we have so much. Also, you know, it's basically taking our hands, uh, you know, step by step to bring it to the level where we can understand and where the sister can even open up even further. So, All right. Yes. Yes. There's a yes, lot of sure. things that she might want to say, but you may not understand or you may not agree with because of your lack of. Uh, of, of knowledge or understanding. We don't say these things just to, to, to feel like we're better or anything. It's just we're just saying it as it is because, you know, a lot of things, you know, been hidden from us. Like you say, she has done everything you have done, like the, 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 the white dress, the, the big cake and everything because that's how our parents didn't know better, you understand. So mm-hmm. we, all were part of, we all fell for it, you understand, but, to, you know, for, uh, for some reason, you know, we find ourselves back to, to where we're supposed to be. So this is why, you know, many, uh, we make it uh, of, of utmost importance that we enlighten our brothers and sisters to bring about the truth. Because where, where the wise ones stay quiet, the, the fools will always have a loud mouth. You understand? And the more... Mm, that ain't the truth. <laughs> the, more, the more people will go astray and the, the more we will see our reality crumble. You understand? So this is just to let the sister go, we, we thank you, sister, for being with us uh, like we always expected it to be, very informative and very uh, such a great, uh, you know, vibe that we get tonight. And uh, the information was, you know, just fit properly, you understand? And even Brother Menra, you know, he, he speak on metaphysics and then he sees that there's no difference between it and that, you understand? Because it's all the same. It is, it is basically all the same. All the same. The Agreed. universal or is universal. No matter you call it metaphysic, no matter you call it uh, uh, voodoo, no matter you call it uh, uh, the hermetic principles or whatever it is that we mm-hmm. call things, it is all the same. All is one, and it, it's all like uh, the brother would say. On, on uh, um, uh, what what is his name again? Uh, uh, Santos Bonacci is speak of synchronicity because a, everything synchronized or something. Oh, yes. There's a divine synchronicity within all of us. That's what we call the collective, of course. We are the cosmos uh, as the cosmos is within us. We understand. Understanding us is understanding the cosmos. So once we open Mm. that within us, so we will see, you know, we will see life for what it is, something joyful, you know, I mean, so that we may experience uh, without having to worry about things that are of no importance. You understand, because, uh, you know, like we know even the Bible that we share so much, she says that uh, by a lack of knowledge, they perish. 
So the best <laughs> thing we can do for ourselves in this age is to seek to know. You understand? That's if right. Have to, like she said, it's, it's a war out there on a, on, a, on a spiritual level, and that's why it's been uh, foreseen and it's been uh, told, foretold that you know it's gonna be the worst of. Well, the worst of time and the best of time. The worst of time because the slavery is mental instead of physical, and this is the worst of slavery. You understand? And it's only knowledge that can really get you out of uh, the situation. Break the chains. Breaking the chains. We are breaking the chains. That's it. That's it. Um, also very important, brother, just before I leave, I just wanted to shout this out because we are entering in the week of St. Patrick's Day, et cetera. Now, I'm just going to give a really quick thing on that. Um, the holidays that we always see the Europeans celebrate, there's always a spiritual backing behind it, okay? St. Patrick mm-hmm. is Papa Legba, okay? So I just wanted to say that it's extra special that this Monday or just dealing all this week that we open, it's a perfect time for opening and communication. I'll just stress that once again because, once again, the St. Pat's Day, although they did some cruel and gruesome things in um, Ireland to the blacks in Ireland as far as slavery goes, that's one thing. But as they transcended through time in the modern day, whatever saints – again, that they're paying respects to due to the Haitian Revolution and how we used saints and certain names to cover and mask our true ancestry, which in in this case, St. Patrick's being Papa Legba, etc. Very, very sacred time to do just what me and the other brother that asked that question dealing with how to open up that space, how to start the communication. You couldn't be in a better time or a better week astrologically, just, you know, cosmically, I want to say, um, and, and just the energy going around right now with the St. Pat's function. So um, just, uh, I just thought I would just mention that real quick because um, it just came to mind that the whole St. Pat's joint is going on this week. Yeah, thanks for, for mentioning that, though, because uh, that, 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 that is, uh, I did not know, and uh, it's something I learned, and I'm very glad to have learned that tonight. <laughs> no yeah. doubt, no doubt, brother. You know how it is. It's just all love. You know, sometimes right, it's just going to come out when it needs to. You know, we don't have control over it. So exactly, exactly. So we we have to know the platform is all based on on, on giving love. You know, I mean, respecting the ancestors and and uh, seeing them through every single eyes that is on the show and uh, every single eyes that it is that is not. We see them through everyone, so therefore we have to show respect to ourselves, show respect to everybody else. So when we say the things we say, please do not let the egoistic mind uh, translate it uh, the wrong way. You know, remember that we are dealing with adepts, people that have no business in hurting anyone's feelings. All that that is said is things that need to be said, even those that we call uh, and the, uh, the the generative uh, uh, um, uh, um, bloodlines or, or, or race or something like this is we, we don't mean to say it in a way that is uh, uh, you know degrading. It's just we're just putting it in terms that this is the terms that we know to 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 explain it. You understand? Mm-hmm. And it's not it, with no pun intended. It's just the way things are. You understand? Correct. Because so, really but, and truly, brother, it's not us bringing it to them. It's a higher source bringing it to them. We're just the vessel. Exactly. So, exactly. Um, <laughs> you know, that's exactly. all that is about. So, you know, feel free to say your last word, sister, because this is, uh, this is for you, the time. So, as Yes, I, said, I know. We could be here forever, right? <laughs> oh, yes. Because <laughs> I know you have to um, so Oh, yes, yes. Just, All of us, you know, to some extent, you know. But I just want to yeah. thank everyone who, um, you know, took their chance on this Sunday evening in order to come out and listen and, um, you know, get some of that soul food, you know, and that kind of thing because it's just really that important. Same way, you know, you got to feed your yourself you got to feed the soul and if anything feed that first and then everything else will come after um once again like i said um hato akhenaten on facebook voodoo diva on instagram um you can inbox me um any questions that kind of thing um on youtube the video voodoo the final frontier my channel name is hato akhenaten i should be very easy to find um you know like share let's bring this information to those that don't know because you you being on this line tonight gives you now a accountability and a responsibility. So let's help spread this word out because this is what it's about. It's not for me, you, and just uh, the people who are here now. It's about doubling, tripling, quadrupling because, again, if we're one, we have to start moving 
as such. So I leave you guys with that. Um, you know, in the name of the ancestors, may everyone have a prosperous and a beautiful and a protected week. And let us get together again to be able to congregate and, and, and do this again and, and again and again and again and again, okay, in, in love and in peace. So uh, I bid everyone a very good night, um, you know, travel in bliss and all that you do for the week, for the month, <laughs> for the year, forever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. Never, never. <laughs> all right, sister, uh, we look forward for your next uh, video. Uh, as to say, you're going to be speaking or explaining the different laws and uh, the different law. And then, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, and, uh, you know, we look forward to them, to them myself uh, to learn because if there is to know, this is something I want to know because it's a very big part of me. And oh, yeah. To learn some more from you, and we, again, thank you for being with us. You know, in any way, we would like to say that we should be happy to have any appreciation. And we sent you love uh, to the uh, awesome degree. Uh, you and your family. Hope you really have a very nice day. Again, as we welcomed you with this song, I know you would love it. You got it. You got it. I hear you. I hear you. I'm with it. I hear you. Thank you so much. I appreciate the well wishes, brother. Yes, definitely. We hope to have you again on Zoom. And now we let the people oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, okay, yes, yes. So love, love, peace, love, and blessings to all of my people. I love you all dearly. Just know that you are royal. Walk like it, act like it, talk like it. The ancestors are with you now and until the end of time and forevermore. Okay, it's just time to open up the gateways. Let's open up the doors. That's it. <laughs> yes. All right, yeah. All right. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, and I appreciate you, brother, as well. Thank you for tuning in and um, hoping to be speaking with you as well soon, very soon as well. Peace and blessings, sister. Yes, yes. All right. Be well, everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. okay. Bye-bye everyone. now. Thank you, everyone, for joining us tonight. Uh, I can't say we have a Yes, 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 brother. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me on. I look forward to hearing from you again and from everyone. Okay. Yes, yes. Peace. Until next time, next Sunday, so, uh, we'll report whatever we need um, face to face. So uh, we'll, we'll come back again uh, as we go on the journey to learn and learn and learn and learn. And learn. As we learn, we basically raising teachers as well. People come giving you the knowledge they have themselves being students and this is gonna be for you also to you know to practice as you learn about you were once a student and as we always do and there are times that we to be the teacher. As you teach, Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Brother Menra, for being here with us. We wanted you as the adults to be here so that we can feel the dynamics, so that we can get it from you. So we thank you very much for, for taking the time to be with us.